Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekWins.com. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to do uh, high-end skin retouching in Photoshop. And it's going to be very, very quick. There's only a couple steps. And if you want to make this easy on yourself going forward, you can actually create your own action to do this. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you the steps here on exactly what to do. And then you can play with it on your images. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So we have this image here. And what we're going to do first is duplicate this. So I'm going to drag it down here to the uh, new layer. And that's going to give me a duplicate of that uh, that layer there. So now what we need to do is invert this layer. So it's going to make it look really bad. But we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, and then Invert. So it's going to look really, really strange. So now what we need to do is actually apply a blending mode to this. So we're going to go to our blending modes. We're going to go down here to Vivid Light. And it's going to make it look even worse. But we're getting to where we need to go. So now what we have, that we have that, we need to apply a filter. So we're going to go to Filter other and then a high pass filter and you can change the amount uh, to uh, best suit your image but I found that between 23 24 25 somewhere around there works best so I'm just gonna go ahead and change it to an even 24 right there and click OK and so the last thing that we need to do is apply a, another blur here so we have to go to filter blur and then Gaussian blur and here you can again change the uh, value to kind of what uh, suits your image best. So I'm going to zoom into the face here. And what you want to do is kind of accentuate the pores uh, as much as possible without introducing any more uh, artifacts to the image. So between three and four probably works best. I'm going to go down to three, uh, see what that looks like. It's a little bit too smooth, so I'm going to go back up to four right there and that gives me a little bit more pore definition so I'm gonna click OK there and now that we have our skin retouching applied we need to um, make a uh, layer mask that hides everything that we've done so to do that I'm gonna hold the alter option key on my keyboard and click the layer mask button and that's going to apply a black layer mask here so now it looks like nothing has been done to the image now we need to get a white brush make sure your brush is set to white and we're gonna change our flow I'm going to go to right in the middle, go to 50. So right there and make our brush, uh, let's see, hardness of zero. So we're going to have a very soft brush and we can adjust the size accordingly with our right and left bracket keys. So now what we need to do is just start painting in. And so I have it set to 50. So I'm just going to gradually paint some of this in. What you don't want to do is paint in areas that need to have definition in them, um, like the eyes. Obviously, you don't want to have a blurry eyes. Um, but we're just going around the image just like this. And this is an image that has not had any post, or I'm sorry, any image that has had any uh, pre, uh, pre adjustments done to it. So I'm not, I'm not removing blemishes or anything like that before. I'm just going and doing the skin retouching right in the, right in the beginning. So right there and it looks good. So that is our skin retouching. So if we were to toggle this off, this is the before and that's the after. Obviously we can go in here uh, after the fact if we wanted to, but it's probably the best to do this before. We can go in after the fact and just remove some of these uh, blemishes with our spot healing brush. Uh, just kind of like that, but you kind of get the point. So um, again, I'm going to group these together so you can kind of see. And this is the before. And that's the after. So very easy, quick skin retouching that you can apply to your images. And obviously, if this is too much, you can obviously take the opacity down just to blend it in a little bit more. But that gives you a great starting point to finesse it with, uh, with your images just a little bit. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens, and I'll see you in the next one.